Uh, hi there. Um, again, my name is James Ryerson, and I'm a, uh, an editor at the Times um, of working in the opinion section. Um, so this course uh, is called uh, The City as Muse and Subject, uh, and the subtitle is An Introduction to Critical Thinking. Um, this course is, in many ways, inspired by a similar course that I took 25 years ago after my junior year of high school. Um, uh, this course was in Paris, not in New York. Um, but it, um, it was, uh, for me, a formative experience, um, intellectually formative, but also in terms of um, preparing me for college. Um, and I loved it, and that is really the main reason why I am um, excited about uh, teaching it. Um, the idea behind that course, which is also the idea behind this course, is that one of the best and um, frankly most uh, fun and exciting ways to be introduced to the you know, wide variety of uh, schools and styles of thought um, that one encounters in a liberal arts education, you know, economics, sociology, philosophy, art history, what have you, that one of the best ways to be uh, introduced to that stuff uh, is uh, to see how they are all uh, reflected in thinking about one particular thing, in this case, the city. Um, so, you know, economists have thoughts about the city, uh, sometimes just about New York City. Uh, sociologists have thoughts about the city. Philosophers have thought about the city. Theologians have thought about the city as an idea for a uh, metaphor for heaven, what have you. Um, and so uh, the idea here is that um, you know, rather than taking, say, a pre-college course uh, that's going to give you an introduction to philosophy because you might think that you're interested in that, you want to find out, um, you can kind of get a feel uh, for the kind of basic intellectual moves and styles of a lot of different disciplines, um, again, by considering just how they apply to one thing, you know, to the city, using the city as a kind of uh, case study for you know, the full range of, of kind of intellectual um, thought. Uh, so the, the way uh, it'll work um, in terms of the individual classes, which might be um, the easiest way to understand what we're doing, um, you know, we'll, we'll have a class, say, on, um, you know, the city as uh, a, character, a character in literature. Um, rather than reading a ton of books, we'll, you know, provide small uh, reading samples. Um, uh, we'll read them, we'll discuss them, and um, the students will uh, then have writing assignments in which they uh, attempt to write in the sort of style uh, or with the same kind of considerations in mind as the writers um, that we've you know, read previously. Um, we'll also have a number of people, uh, prominent thinkers about cities, um, come as guest lecturers. Um, to talk about passages that are discussed, um, questions and answers with, with, the, um, with the students. Uh, and then we'll look to do site visits that also help um, uh, you know, illuminate some of these same themes. So for instance, um, you, know, you might take in college a whole art history course on aesthetic theory or something like that. Here, you know, what we would do instead is go to Central Park uh, walk around, take a look at it, and read about how, uh, you know, Olmsted uh, was actually implementing a particular 19th century aesthetic theory in that park. Um, <laughs> that would be a kind of site visit. Uh, we might do similar things on the Bowery um, or uh, the Cloisters. Um, and um, so there'll be a, a site visit component, discussion component, reading component, and um, we'll have a number of um, uh, writers and thinkers on cities coming and talking with the students as well. Um, my hope for the class is that, uh, you know, when I took a similar class like this, when I showed up in college, I felt like, though I certainly hadn't taken a, f a college philosophy class or a college art history class or a college sociology class, I kind of felt like I had at least had some familiarity with the basic moves, the basic styles and habits of thoughts of these different disciplines, because I had seen you know, how they applied in a, in a particular case, uh, in the case of the city. Um, and it just made me feel very comfortable in terms of having just a sense of what was going on, having a stronger sense of what my interests might be, um, and in general, uh, just kind of opening my mind towards the whole possibilities and styles of, of thought. So um, that is 
the Sidious Muse and Subject.